Hey, what's up guys, David here from Dignited. Today, I'm going to show you how you can use your iPhone as a webcam on your Mac Mini. With this, you don't need to spend extra on low quality webcams anymore. All right, let's dive right into it. So I've got an M1 Mac Mini that I mainly use for editing my YouTube tutorials and for video calls on Google Meet and Zoom. However, as you probably know, the Mac Mini doesn't come with a built-in camera, so you would typically have to buy one separately. But if you own an iPhone released after 2018, there is good news. You can skip purchasing a separate webcam and use your iPhone's high-resolution camera instead. This is all possible through a feature called Continuity Camera introduced with macOS Ventura or macOS 13.7. Alright, now here's what I'm working with today. I have an iPhone SE 2020 running iOS 18, actually just uh, updated uh, yesterday. Alright, and then I have the M1 Mac Mini running macOS Ventura, which is macOS 15, also updated yesterday. So, continuity camera works both wirelessly and through a wired connection using lightning cable or USB-C. Now, to use your iPhone as a webcam, make sure that number one, your iPhone is near your Mac. That is because this feature uses Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And then two, make sure that it is locked and it's in stable state. So ensure that it is mounted on some kind of tripod or one of those um, continuity camera mounts. Then ensure that the rear cameras are unobstructed and are facing you. So this won't use your selfie camera of your iphone no it actually uses the uh, rear cameras then ensure that the iphone is in landscape orientation right yes so it shouldn't be in a vertical position it should be in a horizontal position for this feature to work all right now let's try the wireless setup using photo booth because it's one of the apps that actually requires a webcam and it's built in so let's try using that okay all right guys so you can see i have my mac mini monitor there and i have my iphone here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to mount it on this tripod here so let's do that right now okay and of course once you mount it then you should be able to use the rear camera of the iphone so i'm going to do that now okay and then just Put it next to the Mac Mini, which is just down on the table. So let's do that. Okay. And uh, yeah. Okay. I'm just going to position it like this. All right. So I got it connected eventually by bringing it closer to my Mac Mini. And you can see connected to Dave's Mac Mini. You can disconnect to remove this iPhone from the Mac Mini camera. So you have two buttons pause and disconnect so whenever you're ready you can always disconnect right so then here we can position the iphone camera just like that all right yeah you can open any video calling application such as google meet or zoom it should be able to recognize your iphone as the camera so let's do that so let's do that i'm going to open google meet here meet.google.com start an instant meeting and there you are you can actually see that uh, google meet is now using my iPhone camera as a webcam and it's really high quality high resolution and this is the same across uh, Zoom or any other video calling application including FaceTime actually it should be able now to recognize your iPhone as a webcam that's really awesome now I'm going to come here and now just disconnect there you go yes disconnect yeah yeah so now the next thing that i want to do is actually now to use a cable connection instead of the wired connection and i have my lightning cable here which i'm going to use okay so i'm going to try to use the lightning cable now and i'm just going to connect it to my mac mini this is a bit less stressful than using the wired option the wired option is really uh try and error but this one seems to be really easy so you get this and you connect it to the back of your to the usb-c port of your mac mini so i'm going to do that all 
Right, so I'll mount this iPhone here on the tripod as I did earlier and just make sure that I'm able to use the rear camera of the iPhone. Okay, just like that. Yeah. So then I'm going to open photo booth again to test the camera first. And you can see this is really really instant it has already recognized my iphone okay and when i go to google meet here and start an instant meeting then i can see that my iphone has actually been recognized as a webcam and it's it's right here it's even really 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 high quality input here right yeah so using the cable is the most straightforward less stressful way of doing this because it's really instant uh, otherwise if you're going to use the wireless means there's a bit of uh, try and error there's a little bit of uh, fidgeting here and there to get it right but with the cable i found a bit more success almost instant success uh, using the cable with the mac mini So this is this is actually zoom it's the same thing the input is really really high quality okay this is google meet this is zoom right here input is really really high quality and it's totally totally way easier to use a cable connection than using the wireless means right and also if you're going to use facetime it's the same thing the camera is almost instantly recognized as you can see here this is now facetime all right i don't have any contacts that i can facetime with right now but you can see the camera is instantly uh, recognized so when you're setting up this process here i usually recommend you start with photo booth make sure that the camera setup is really uh configured very well and then you can open any video calling application to actually get this going right yeah all right so some troubleshooting tips if you're having trouble getting continuity camera to work here are a few things to check right now number one make sure that both your iphone and mac are signed into the same apple id and have two-factor authentication enabled then two Continuity camera should be turned on by default, but double check by going to settings, then general, then airplay and continuity or airplay and handle on your iPhone. Then ensure that both devices are near each other with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi turned on. Then ensure that your iPhone shouldn't be sharing its cellular connection and your Mac shouldn't be sharing its internet connection. And then ensure that your Mac isn't using AirPlay or Sidecar while trying to use continuity camera wirelessly. And now if you're using a USB connection, your iPhone needs to trust your Mac. A prompt should appear on your iPhone when connected. Alright, that wraps up our tutorial on how to use iPhone as a webcam with your Mac Mini. Now while continuity camera may not always be as seamless as AirDrop for example, Following these troubleshooting tips should help you get the most out of it. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more tech tutorials. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.